So in this segment, we're going to be remembering about the world's easiest trade deal. Do you remember um, someone said that very famously? We're going to be remembering that um, today after we, you know, look at the disaster, which was um, <laughs> the um, the Northern Ireland Protocol, which is a disaster on, you know, to unionists and other people. So we're going to look at some of the kind of trade issues around um, with the UK. Also, in a separate video, we're going to be talking about the uh, UK Australia deal um, that's been delayed as well, which is again great stuff, really. But um, yeah, let's let's have a look. So the the politics of trade aren't easy. Admitted an aide to uh, waitlisted um, Tory head pre prefect Liz Trust with no apparent sense of shame that they finally admit trade deals ain't easy. When I challenged him recently on the comically tiny trade deals his boss had scrapped together during her tenure at the Department for International Trade. My particular favourite is the Faroe Islands, a large coup, of roughly the equivalent of securing a free trade deal with Stevenage. Remember, they, they tried to tout that as a success. The um, cut and paste job with the Japan deal, which is not actually a cut and paste job because it, it's worse than the EU's deal with Japan. So that's great. Um, we've got a bit more here. Fans of trust might point to the agreement with Australia, a distant country, which this government seems to uh, seems creepily obsessed with. Yet yeah, the UK just the UK exports just one pound of goods and services there for every twenty five pounds we used to export to the EU. So again, very low. And the fact that that deal isn't even happening right now, um, it's been further delayed. Are we going a bit more? Even the slimmest of pickings required the secret removal of vital clauses on climate change, and anyone who fell for the promise of a US deal has clearly been eating too much hormone soused beef, um, which that's, that deal is not going to happen by the end of this decade, so who knows how long that could take. Meanwhile, the only trade deals that really matter, the EU one, supposedly the easiest deal in history, is a demonstrable disaster. Many of the shortages now dogging UK businesses and families uh, result directly from the unnecessary barriers that the government chose to erect between the UK and its large trading partner, the EU. Lots of frustrated EU firms have simply given up on shipping to the country altogether. And we're not even doing import checks yet, firm. We ain't even doing import checks yet. The nightmare hasn't even really begun yet. And you've already got firms giving up on this. Crazy. Um, but yeah, let's 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 go back. Let's let's remember this. Who was it that said it? Was it Liam Fox? Yes. It's much better that we have a deal than no deal. We can, of course, survive with no deal. And uh, we have to go into a negotiation with those on the other side, knowing that that's what we think. But, of course, we want to come to a full and comprehensive deal with the European Union. Why? Because it's good for uh, the people of Britain and it's good for our economy and it's good for the consumers and the workers of Europe and their economy. And if you think about it, you know, the free trade agreement that we will have to come to with the European Union should be one of the easiest in human history. We're already beginning with zero tariffs and we're already beginning at the point of maximal regulatory equivalence, as it's called. In other words, our rules and our laws are exactly the same. Yeah, it took many. Uh, it took a it took a while. Well, did it take a while? It did take a while to get the TTA because of the um, the Northern Ireland Protocol and things like that. But um, it definitely was not the easiest deal in human history, was it? If we go back a bit more, let's go back again. The workers of Europe and their economy. And if you think about it, you know, the free trade agreement that we will have to come to with the European Union should be one of the easiest in human history. The European Union should be one of the easiest in human history. The European Union should be one of the easiest in human history. I just, no, it definitely wasn't. And um, yeah, you know, this is a quick look back at the so-called easiest deal in uh, human history, which it really wasn't. It was very painful. And we're not even fulfilling our side of the agreement, really, because we're not doing import checks yet, are we? So absolute disaster. Absolute disaster. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.